The member for Moncrief. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Attorney General. I refer the Attorney to the Australian Crime Commission's report, Organised Crime in, Aust in Australia 2011. And I quote from the report, in Norway, a group is being investigated for carbon tax evasion as part of a Europol tax fraud probe into allegations that up to €5 billion Euros of revenue has been lost. Cyber criminals also allegedly accessed European business systems and stole legitimate carbon trading permits, which were then sold on the open market. Attorney, are these the same markets from which the government believes that Australians must, must purchase $3.5 billion in foreign carbon credits by 2020? Order. The House will come to order. The Attorney General has been asked a question. Order. Order. The question has been asked. I would have thought that we'd those on my left might want to listen to the answer, having asked the question. The attorney now has the call. Attorney. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, members should be adv advised that the government uh, was, of course, aware of uh, that report uh, in uh, designing the regulatory framework that will apply to the arrangements that we are developing uh, in Australia. There was some debate, I think, five to six weeks ago regarding uh, the extent and the intensity uh, of that regulatory framework and indeed in uh, many cases uh, uh, quite strong penalties that are being applied to prevent that sort of behaviour. So uh, those, uh, that information uh, has been within the knowledge of the government. It has been taken uh, into consideration uh, in the design of the framework. Uh, in terms of the uh, relevant markets, uh, that are part of that uh, design. Uh, the uh, relevant minister has uh, advised the, uh, uh, advised the uh, public uh, of uh, those matters.